are back with some more WWE 2K23 My Rise. It has been a very long time since I played My Rise, but we are here once again to discuss business with Shawn Michaels. Here we go. Hey champ, I've been meaning to talk to you about a potential big opportunity. Is now a good time? Yeah, sure. What's going on? So far, you've been living up to the office's expectations. But now it's time for a big test. We want The Lock to headline a live event for the first time, defending the Intercontinental Championship. A live event? I'm not sure that's a big test. Let me finish. The live event's in one of our top markets, LA. But there's always a lot of competition for the WWE Universe's entertainment dollar. It takes a big name talent to put butts and seats there. You know, like when I main evented WrestleMania 12. Wasn't that in Anaheim? Technically not LA. Nothing gets by you. Anyway, if you can sell out a major arena in LA, you can do it anywhere. Even Anaheim. So what do you think? I'm more than ready, yeah, like what? I think I'm more than ready. Let's make it happen. Great, we thought we'd let you choose who you want a main event against. Sami Zayn, Ridge Holland, Austin Theory. We can just promote your appearance without an opponent. I probably do say, yeah, let's do Sami, let's continue. I wouldn't mind smacking around Sami Zayn for old time's sake. Tried and true. I'll make it happen. So, big live event coming up. Do you feel extra pressure knowing that same night The Rock will be in LA promoting the premiere of his new movie, Mudslide? What? I don't know why they didn't call it Rock Slide. It was right there. I hope both Rock and I will be fine. I'm not worried about a dumb I'm not worried about no care dumb if it's movie, the rock. bro. I'm not worried about a dumb movie premiere. Would you rather watch celebrities walk a red carpet or watch me defend my intercontinental championship? Exactly. Easy decision. I should mention that it's not just a typical movie premiere. Rock's giving away a hundred brand new pickup trucks, and anyone who attends is eligible to win. Can I, I get heard it? fans Can I get were one? lining up weeks in advance. Look, it's gonna be fine, okay? When the bell rings for my match, those seats will be full. Got it. Oh, and just a heads up, I might be a little late to the show on account of the fact I need to cover a friend's shift waiting in line for a truck at Rock's premiere. Of course. But I'll try my best to catch your match, too. <laughs> Got it. Thanks. Holy fuck. <laughs> yeah, you sold this bitch out, huh? Yeah. Oh, wait, hold on. Okay. What? Here we go, Sammy. Burning hammer. Now I'm gonna go for the pin. Get rid of your resilience, eh? There we go, Sammy. Yes, sir. And now we're gonna go for the blackout. For the finish. Don't reverse this, please. It's only a live event. Thank you, sir. Go for the pin. One, two. Sir? Man, take off that shirt, bro. I know it's hot in here. No AC on. I know you're sweating and you're sweating with the t-shirt on. Well, Sammy, I got two finishers, so there's no way you're going to reverse both of them. That's one. You only get one, Sammy. Suplex, I'm reversing that. Flipping over. Shot to the leg, yup. And you, you ain't reversing. Oh, okay, hold on. Oh, oh, gotcha. There we go. Now we go again. Bop. Don't reverse this. There we go, Sammy. Back to the head. One, two, 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 two. You already know what I'm trying to do, Sammy. I'm trying to go home, eat a hot dog, and try to go back to the gym the next morning. You feel me? What is this? Do my cock? Oh shit! <laughs> a roll of got this man i hit him with a sig finish sig sig finish sig finish sig finish and a roll up <laughs> you wanted to talk right what's up i've been thinking back on my own career lately and i realized a lot of my success can be credited to the factions i was a part of both off screen and on just like you i was strong willed and independent but in wwe you often find yourself needing backup. The other members of the clique and DX also puts each other to be better. What are you getting at? Two prominent superstars have approached management with the idea of building a faction around you, and the brass thinks it's a good idea. Is this because of the LA Live event? 
It's not about what happened in L.A. Uh, blame WWE for the L.A. night. Yeah. The L.A. night live event or promise next time. Oh, okay. So this is from the last time I played, which is like months ago. Uh, next time will go better. Blame WWE. Uh, next time will be better. I don't remember. I promise. <laughs> if I get the opportunity to headline again, I'll do everything in my power to make sure it's standing room only. Sure. Whatever. But this faction stuff has nothing to do with that. It's all about accelerating your rise to the top. Yeah, Sean knows all about that. Lot, that a couple of heavy hitters came to us wanting to build something around you. So I'll say it again. You just need to play ball here and trust the process. Okay, but if I do this, I see it as a good opportunity to freshen up my look. So no more lock gear, okay? Oh, please, thank That's you, what Christ. It takes to get this done. Then fine. I'm on board. I'm not ready. I'm on board. Fuck it. Let's go. Okay. Then I'm on board. So who approached you about this? What are my options? The two superstars who want to recruit you are MVP and Randy Orton. Mm. Go talk to them, hear what they have to say, and decide what's best for your career. I'm glad we could finally talk. Especially since you might be hearing some big promises from guys like MVP. But let's cut to the chase. What has he really accomplished? Mm, that's very true, Randy. That's very true. Uh, uh, in you know, in, in you know, in other companies, he's accomplished quite a lot, but not in WWE. I mean, he was the longest reigning United States champion at the time. You know, I mean, you know, the highest paying SmackDown employee for a time being. You know what I'm saying? But realistically speaking, I gotta you know, I gotta be honest. Not much recently, unless you count riding Bobby Lashley's coattails. Exactly. I like where your head's at. So why are you getting involved with all this faction stuff? I enjoyed what I had in Arcade Bro, and it got me thinking about my start in WWE, when I was a part of one of the greatest factions of all time, Evolution. I want to add to my legacy by building an even better version. Interesting. So where do I fit in? I'll be the veteran leader, the Triple H type. And I see the lock in the phenom role that I held. Mm. You're not the guy yet. But oh, with well. my help, you will be. Okay. I seem to recall that you and Evolution didn't end on the best terms. That's true. You don't need to worry about that. With me in charge, it will be different. And when the time's right, I'll pass the torch to you and you'll become world champion, just like I did. When will that be? I can't make any promises. Ultimately, it's up to you balls in your court now let me know what you want to do intercontinental champion the lock it's a pleasure man i've enjoyed watching you tear it up so far on raw and they weren't wrong with all that hype which is why i wanted to talk to you i'm relaunching the hurt business mm. i want you to be the centerpiece the new ceo uh, the last version had issues i like the sound of that i like the you know i like the sound of that you know so you're I mean? telling me all the factions efforts would be focused on me i like the sound of that exactly and look at what I did for Bobby Lashley. I helped elevate him to become the almighty WWE champion. And I could do the same thing for you, but faster. Since, let's be honest, Bobby was a bit of a rehabilitation project. But you, you're ready for prime time. Mmm, shouldn't have blow smoke on my ass. All right, see. So, who else do you have in mind for the group? I'm reviewing a lot of top candidates, but don't worry about that. No matter who else joins, the lock is going to be the guy, the focus of the group. Every decision the Hurt Business makes will be to further your individual success first. That all sounds good. Assuming you're not just saying all this to get me on board. I'm not. Trust me. I see big things in you. So what do you think? You ready to make the best decision of your life? Damn, man. I actually get the choice to either be a part of the new evolution, Evolution 2.0, but be in Randy's position when he was in the first evolution and build my way up to being world champion or be the centerpiece of the new hurt business with mvp i mean ultimately is going to lead to betrayal i either it's stable i'm going to be betrayed at some point let's be real here um mvp was was definitely blowing smoke up my ass and randy was trying to keep it real with me i understand i get it you know what i'm saying um and i like both guys a lot too that's the thing i like both guys a lot. like i like randy and i like mvp a whole lot in terms of the wwe I think Randy, 
You know, actually, Randy might have a little bit more pull here in the WWE. I, I generally don't know, man. I, I, I want to see... Mm, I feel like a lot of people chose Evolution over the Herb business, too. That's the thing. Honestly, man, I think I might join Randy. I think I might join Randy in the, the new Evolution, man. I'm, I'm going to keep it a thousand with you. I'm going to keep it a thousand with you. As much as I would like to join MVP, I, I, genu I genuinely believe that my, my man is trying to blow smoke up my ass. And, you know, Randy was trying to keep it real with me. I understand. I get it, you know. Young veteran in the game. I'm ready to be a part of Evolution. Good. You made the right call. I'm extremely confident in your abilities... But I want to give you a crash course in doing things the evolution way. Meet me at the performance center tomorrow. And don't be late. Oh, nah. He, he about to put me to war, golly. Who the hell is this? Oh, am I really doing tutorial? Oh, my God. Can I get out of this fucking bullshit, bro? Oh, shit. We, we styling right now? We finna style on them? Oh, shit. Okay. Oh, is this dude? Oh my, <laughs> the juicer. <laughs> Damn, I'm looking real good. Uh, look, look at us. Let's go. Oh, about to fuck it up on Raw. Look at this. Okay. We put the locker room on notice, but now I want to show the entire WWE universe that we run things here on Raw. When I was in the original Evolution, we did that by holding multiple championships. So we are going to do the same thing. Okay. Well, I'm I already icy champion. I need to wait my turn to go after the WWE Championship. You do. I've used my pull to get us a match for the Street I told Profits you you got Raw Tag Team Championship. Oh, shit. We can beat the Street Profits. No problem. I like your confidence, but it's not just the Street Profits. It's a triple threat match. With them and the team of Carmelo Hayes and Omos from MVP's relaunched Hurt Business. Carmelo Hayes and Omos in the Hurt Business? Apparently everyone's doing reboots these days. Yeah. That's a fucked up better. team. I've decided you two will represent Evolution. I want those tag titles. Don't let me down. I won't. Holy fuck. All right. Well, we're all scattered about. Okay, I guess I go after Carmelo. <laughs> Sorry, referee. It's been a minute. Oh, oh, uh, okay. Angelo Dawkins, I'm about to... Let me squeeze in real quick. Oh, my God. I just saw... Oh, my God. Jesus Christ. No, almost, please. Omos, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to disrespect you like that by disrespecting your name. Like, oh, it's a lot of minorities going on in this ring. I'm not gonna lie to you. And the white man selling us to fight? Mmm, that's kind of crazy. Hit Carmelo with your finish. Well, this is gonna take a while because. Oh my god! <laughs> Look how they're trying to grab up on Omos, man. This is insane. Uh, you just saw your partner not. Oh my. Dude, there's literally no way y'all are this stupid. <laughs> he got two boys on the ropes like that. That's crazy. Okay, I'm hitting him with, with my finish right now. Hold on. Attempt to pin Carmelo Hayes. Okay, so... Oh, well, Montez just float over and... Oh, my God! He just saw stuff! No, please. Please. Let me just do this. Let me do this objective, please. All right, pin attempt one. Dude, almost. Omos, I'm sorry. I, I'm sorry again. I Please, don't toss me out of the ring. Don't... God! My man hit, hit me with a razor's head. Please don't, don't, don't hit the three. One! And I get pinned. Wow. It was for the tag team titles too. I didn't even know that. I thought it was like a number one. Oh well, never mind. Obviously, things didn't go as planned out there. But what's next? How are we going to regroup? You're not going to regroup. We are. What do you mean? You had your shot and you lost. Now we're going after the tag titles. Oh, come on, man. Just give me one more chance. I caught a bad break. You're overreacting. You're kind of overreacting right now. Kind of overreacting right now. Match. I mean, what does it say about your eye for talent if you're already having doubts about me? Mm. And besides, Gabe lost too. Gabe didn't get pinned. That's true as well. You did. That's very true. Look, give me another chance. I'll prove myself by doing something really impressive. Like what? I'll beat the Street Profits next week all by myself. Oh my god, Could what even are earn we us a doing? Match? Sure. <laughs> okay. My guy really said, let me do a one-on-two handicap match to prove to Randy Orton that I am about the shits. That is insane, bro. Like, I, I understand. I understand. I took the pin. I took the L. I get that. But doing all that. I could, you know, I could do a backstage assault. I could do that. I think that would be cooler. 
Black out. Montez, very hurt. Okay, well, Angelo Dawkins doesn't want to make this easy for me. Okay, well. Well, he's doing, he's doing his taunt, okay. Stir it up, stir it up. Doesn't matter. I'm going to try to do this again. Okay, here we go. Oh, I was trying to go for my submission, but I got the reversal. Enziguri, turn around again. Here we go. That's a rope break. That's I know that's a rope break. I know, yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna just keep going with it. Fuck it. All right, rope break again. But orange arms. Is he serious? My guy try to run in on me. Hit me with the clothesline to change the trajectory of this match. Are you serious, bro? This is what you ask to get. This will put Stain out of commission. Oh! Shot. Oh, I'm gonna say shots in the knee. Don't matter. And Taguri. Stun. That's a stun. All right, Mont. Okay, Montez, hold on. Okay, hold on. He's doing a taunt. I don't know how long that taunt's gonna last, though. Feet on the ropes. Yeah. Is he serious? Twice? The most hurt man in this match. I got. I gotta put him away. I gotta put him away, bro. No. There we go. Yes. Any means necessary. Yup. Bad, huh? Told you I'd show you I was worthy of a rematch. I was impressed, but I'm sticking with the original plan. Come on, man. Me and Gabe are taking the tag title rematch. Are you serious? Why do you think WWE even gave us the rematch to begin with? It was because they just saw me beat the champions all by myself. That was 30 minutes. Is that what you think? I actually went to management and got us the rematch, and you could have blown it by going out there on your own and losing. Yeah, well, I didn't. Look, you already have the Intercontinental Championship. Focus on that. And after Gabe and I take care of business, we'll all have titles. Everyone wins. Gabe, you've been quiet. Don't you think it should be me and you going after the tag titles? Yeah, talk. I actually think Randy's right. Oh my god. It makes bro. more sense for us to take the match. Exactly. And for Evolution to succeed, we all need to be on the same page. Understood. Look, my man's rubbing his hands. Fine, understand. Fine. Understood. I'll trust the process. Now you're talking. So, how did it feel to watch from the sidelines as your Evolution teammates captured the Raw Tag Team Championships? Disgusted. I earned the opportunity to be out there. Yeah, I did. Honestly, not great. I earned the opportunity to be out there, but it minutes. didn't work out that way. But I'm happy they won and we're all champions now. You don't sound too happy. I'm not. What are you getting at? It just seems like you've taken a back seat to I Orton. did. Randy's got a plan and I'm following it. He's going to pass the torch to me when the time's right. Or at least that's what he's told me. I don't want to pry, but is there dissension in evolution already? We just started. You know what? I think I've said all I want to say. All right, that will do it for this part of the My Right Story with Ken Daniels. I'm currently in the middle of a story with Matt Riddle and R-Truth as I just captured the 24-7 championship from Matt Riddle. I'm not going to continue recording that. I'm just going to, you know, play the side stuff and then get back to the main stuff when it comes around to it. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Watch the videos that are on your screen right now. Leave a like if you haven't already as well. Follow me on my social medias and I will see you guys in the next video.